Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Shannon. Today we're gonna to be making a buttery rich lemon cream cheese pound cake. A little bit tangy from that touch of cream cheese, pairs well with the brightness from the lemon zest, as well as the sweet tartness from our lemon glaze. Okay, we're gonna start out by having two cups of cake flour into a bowl. To that we're adding one teaspoon of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So just whisk your dry ingredients, just to a combine. Pretty good. Okay, no need to go overboard there. So now I'm gonna do the wet ingredients. Ingredients, we're gonna do this by hand. We're just gonna add one stick of softened butter, eight ounces. I'm gonna try to soften that with my spatula here first. Just to break it. I should have cut it into little pieces, but that's okay, we'll just make do with what we have. And the idea with pound cake is you don't want to beat too much air into it, so it's actually perfectly okay to do it by hand. But if you want to use your mixer, you can definitely use that as well. And I do have my oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. So to that, I'm going to add four ounces or 113 grams or basically half a package of cream cheese. And the cream cheese is gonna be nice and tangy. It's also a little salty, so I'm not gonna add any salt or, or um, cake. So just go ahead and make sure that cream cheese is also at room temperature. Otherwise, this is gonna be pretty difficult to combined. One cup or 200 grams of granulated white sugar. Go ahead and smear this around. Try to have it stay in the bowl. So I'm going to add the zest of one lemon. where all the flavor is in the lemon. Okay. And just make sure not to grate down to that white pith underneath because that's very bitter. I'm actually adding a whole tablespoon of lemon extract. You can use almond extract too if you want. If you want, you can add a touch of vanilla, but just for simplicity purposes, I'm just going to keep it straight lemon today. I really like the lemon extract because it really intensifies that lemon flavor along with the zest. You can add more lemon zest too if you want. It's really going to mimic that, that Starbucks lemon pound cake flavor. Now we're going to add our eggs. So this is a total of four large eggs. It's starting to get that nice bright lemony sunshine yellow color. ingredients. So our baking powder, flour, baking soda mixture. I'll switch over to my, my um, what do you call this? <laughs> my river spatula. Just add it in I think about thirds, half. It's not critical. Now I'm just going to 
This is the 9 by 5 inch loaf pan that I was talking about earlier that you want to make sure that you're, you're already greased and floured. your batter in. So you smooth it over. And it kind of levels itself out as well. So don't fret too much. know that your pound cake is done. I'll show you here. You can either use a knife and insert it into the center, or if you have this long skewer, go ahead and insert it right into the center. It should come out clean. So again, I'm just going to let that rest. And we've got the ingredients for our lemon glaze. We need a half a cup or 15 grams. Now we're just going to add our lemon juice. So generally this should give you, one lemon should give you about a quarter of a cup, four tablespoons, depending on how juicy it is. So I'm just going to squeeze it right in, make sure there's no seeds. Okay. So I'm just going to use half a lemon. That should be about two tablespoons. So just mix until it's smooth so that you have a nice drizzly consistency. And then once our pound cake has cooled down to about room temperature, I'm going to drizzle it on. Cut a slice. My icing is kind of dried and it's it's one of those icings as long as the cake is nice and cooled for the most part it's going to set on the top and it kind of has that nice glazed effect like a glazed donut so <laughs> okay go ahead and use a bread knife and use a sawing motion cut it right in not in half, but you know, cut a thick slice for yourself. I'm gonna try the end. Oh my gosh, this is so nice and moist. I just love this pound cake. I just love the brightness that the lemon zest and the lemon extract brings. And it's a nice compliment to that buttery richness to the pound cake. And of course that contrast with the sweet tanginess and tartness of that glaze is just perfect. So if you try this recipe, um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you back here next time.